It took our goats, Rogue and Valkyrie, about a week to settle in and start acting like happy goats. We expanded their uh, fenced-in area and uh, I moved in some log rounds and these reclaimed beams for them, for them to play on. They're doing a lot better. This may not be the actual final configuration for the log rounds and the planks. I want to see how the goats interact with them for a while first. Actually, my uh, first intention was to take these, uh, these planks and cut them up and create kind of a sp spiral radiating staircase going up this tree stump. But the goats proved completely capable of just jumping right up on here without, actually without anything else to uh, step on first. So that, that wasn't necessary. I do have a lot more log rounds to work with. The pile of concrete we have over here, Wendy isn't too excited about as an additional play structure. So we'll probably be getting rid of it. You're asking for it. <laughs> we might build some kind of a stair step platform next to this tree stump, incorporating some of the log rounds. I'm not sure about that yet. This stump had been in with the goats. Thank you to my brother Brandon and my dad for uh, helping me move it out. This okay. is my suggestion, Brian. Alright, what do you think? I think we should go like this. That's probably a good idea. And then let's here, let's do this. Let's just, let's just get the corner here. Alright. Hold on. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Okay. Alright. And then if you want to. Just guide me. Are we gonna go out the gate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this let's keep her stable. Okay. Okay. Sometimes the inertia of just getting it rolling the first time. Here, I'll get this out of the way. Let's go right through here. Should I follow you? Stay close. Oh my gosh. Do you want to get the gate? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the goats. Okay. If you turn it that way, Brian, then you walk backwards so I get your goal. You good? Yep. Hey, you, you little bummer. Did he bump you? Good enough. Jumped on me. You want to go up anywhere? Yeah, let's go out by the, by the uh, greenhouse. I'll get it close up. How is it? Go. Oh, you know what? This is fine. This is fine for right now. <laughs> well, you uh, sure? I'll take care of it in a little while. It's all right. Yep. Well, that was a big help. That thing was way yeah, too be... much for me to do by myself. As you can see, when we cut down the tree, it was dead and rotting away inside. So this is just soft mush. Not the best thing to keep in there with the goats, but we'll be hollowing this out with a chainsaw so that it can be a unique planter just like these other hollowed out log rounds. So, uh, so this is what we're using these log rounds, these hollowed out log rounds for. They're uh, planters. We just filled them up with uh, garden soil. 
and uh, in this case I transplanted some of our uh, daffodils over there. <laughs> That's really good. Thanks. There's more up there too. Yeah, let's take a look. This one's already flowering. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. So, oh boy. It's taken me a while to figure out where to put these things, where I want them. I've got another one over here. All right. And obviously there's a lot more over by the greenhouse that I haven't figured out where to put yet. I had wanted to put this upcoming sequence in a video called Getting Our First Goats, but Wendy wanted a silliness-free video to introduce them. And I can appreciate that. Getting goats is a big deal for us. When something really good happens for you, I think it's good to go ahead and do a little celebratory dance. Because I know Wendy wouldn't do a silly dance on camera, I'll just have to do it on her behalf. It's okay to be silly every now and then.